Okay, uh, ran out of uh, video space, had to delete a couple things, but what I was saying when I got cut off was, you know, there's there's a couple energy drinks out there, and I'm not going to say which uh, which ones, but they they say that they have amino acids, and, and you look at the the dosing, it's like 25 milligrams, okay, well that's, that's there's, they're useless, so there's actually a good amount of that. Um, the beta alanine, I think, is pers personally, I think it's it's uh, underdosed. Um, you know, I, I don't see the point even at having it in here, especially if it's only 1.6 grams. I personally, when I use it, I like to try to get three to four grams a day. Um, I think that's what you need. Um, you know, the beta alanine, it doesn't matter when you take it. You just, as long as you're using it and, you know, on a consistent basis, your levels of carnosine in your muscles are going to be increased. So there's really no, in my mind, reason to have it in here because it's not going to make a difference if I take it pre-workout, if I take it after workout. As long as I'm taking it on a consistent basis and it's in my system, that's when I'm going to reap the benefits of it. I'm not going to get the benefit just because I took it in a scoop of a, a pre-workout or an intra-workout or whatever. Um, so, sure, that's great, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary to have it in here. Um... Uh, let's see here. Um, got some vitamin C. I guess that's good. Uh, I don't know if it helps while you're working out or not. I know it's good to take it in general, I suppose. But um, uh, yeah, I mean. It doesn't have creatine, <laughs> which is good because I was going to bash it if it did. Because uh, it's, it would have probably been just a very small amount. But otherwise, I'm actually, I like what I see as far as like what's in it. You know, I mean, it's an intra-workout supplement. And those essential amino acids, that's what you want in your, um, and in addition to the branch chain amino acids, which this says it has too. So, um, you know, that's what you want in an intra-workout supplement, you know, the um, the beta alanine, I don't think it's necessary. And so as far as what's in it, I like it. I give that a eight and a half out of 10. I think it's, it's, it's got what an intro workout should have. Um, again, taste five out of 10. I, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad tub. I don't know. Um, I, I would guess that's the case because like I said, I tried the pre-surge unleashed and it was definitely... It's the same flavor of the Wildberry Punch, um, and I can't imagine that it would it, the, there would be a huge difference between the two, even though they're a different supplement. If they're using the same flavoring, I would I would have to assume that they would taste the same, or very 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 similar. So I'm guessing that maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know, but it's definitely it does not taste good. So I don't want to beat a dead horse, but uh, yeah, that's my video recovery. So um, or. <laughs> Video review, video recovery. I was reading it as I was talking. Video review. So that's uh, that's what I think so far. This is my initial review of Intrabolic. Uh, thanks again for letting me try it. Um, and uh, got three or four or four more, I guess. Then one or two, five. So four more uh, posts about what what I think about this. Maybe it'll taste better the next time I take. I don't know. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, anyways, thanks again.